The flaws of capitalism. If you were to fall into a black hole, your body would go through something called spaghettification, as parts of your flesh approach and slip into the singularity exponentially faster than other parts of your flesh. This means that, as fun and inviting as it might have been to interstellar dive right in at first, seeing how friendly, warm, and inviting it was, and how nothing existentially terrifying occurred to you about it, it just seemed very fun. It eventually gets to a not-so-fun point because black holes are space-time anomalies, not only is your body spaghettified across time, but through time, meaning that you exist across a wider and wider stretch of time as more time goes on. Very strange. I know this because I went to a black hole, and while these things started to happen, I began having second thoughts, and got back in Miss Frizzle's space bus and asked her for a different field trip location. I had never seen her so scared or as scared as she was then. It almost felt like, for that field trip, no one was at the wheel. Anyways, to be spaghettified means that certain parts of you as a unit are spread thin away from and eventually torn apart from other parts of you as those parts approach the singularity faster. The parts that were slower and torn off are left behind to rot in the void insofar as things rot in the void. From our outside perspective, it would probably never rot, but from its perspective, it is rotting and rotting fast and suffering. This is the ultimate state of capitalism within a broader globalized world of hyper-advancing technology. Exploring space is fun, inviting, and provides many adventures and resources at first. Capitalism was this way at first. It was the ultimate boon, just like exploring outer space. The problem is though, taken to its extreme, which is what you're doing if you globalize the whole world and make mega corporations, it will eventually snap under the tension. When the abilities, skills, and talents that it takes to produce the fruit that is competitive in the marketplace become so hyper-technical and abstract that they require vast amounts of upfront investment for any non-genius normal person to specialize to that point, you necessarily create an economy that lets the rich have an opportunity to get richer while everyone else lives on debt and wage slavery without the time, energy, focus, or mental fortitude to become the turbo nerds that rule them or to build AI that can compete with the AI of the turbo nerds that rule them. We're already mostly there, and then the next few decades with AI and self-driving taking over the number of lucrative industries will shrink and consist of purely the most menial and manual things, or the most genius and abstract things with no middle way, and therefore no middle class. The middle class shrinking will also create many narcissists and psychopaths as the dark triad flourishes with the rich and the poor. Eventually, the only things left for normal people to commodify will be things that are sacred and shouldn't be, things like sex and personality, or maybe things that are somewhat sacred and perhaps shouldn't be commodified, things like art in general. With OnlyFans and YouTube here in the US, and with social credit system in China, we are seeing how the utopia we are trying to build with technology is taking away the struggle that assisted people in knowing who was real, who was fake, and who people were. A real friend helped you and was there for you when there were no strings attached, and he stood to lose a lot. A real lover didn't try to pressure you for sex and was willing to commit to monogamous love in past, present, and future. But what happens when the very systems that make our lives so easy in some ways necessitate attaching strings to those things that make our lives so meaningful in other ways? If the price for reducing the amount of struggle we had with daily living due to facing nature unaided by tech is a dystopian Mark of the Beast barcode world where nothing is real and everything is abstracted in a non-artistic way, is it really worth it? But this is the result when a system premised on fundamental insecurity meets a post-scarcity world of extreme, long-lasting technological security. A type of security that will erode into hell so slowly that those of us around by the time will be too selfless to realize it. Selfless not meaning the lack of awareness of a self, not meaning the Buddhist humility, but literally selfless as in lacking character or personhood or a soul generally, being vegetative and geriatric. But asking that question is irrelevant, almost as irrelevant as this video. The Pandora's box has been opened and we might just have to nuke ourselves if we ever want to see normalcy again. It seems to me that the powers that be simply want us to become content creators in order to feed the AIs that they are building, just to dispose of us when they are done. Something like the final battle of humanity will probably involve a last ditch effort to infiltrate layers and layers of cyberspace to activate a mythic nuke button and completely nuke everyone that being the only escape from the VR hypno-immersive abstract hell that's coming our way.